Hey guys, I'm walking to the supermarket right now. It's 2.2 kilometers, probably take about 25 minutes. And I'm gonna do a refeed tomorrow. It's gonna be healthy, because I'm only gonna use what I buy today. I'm gonna get a whole, I'm gonna get a whole roasted chicken and just a lot of vegetables. Probably no potatoes or pumpkin or anything like that, just green vegetables. And I'll show you guys around the supermarket when I get there. Hey guys, I'm at the supermarket. Here's all the rows of unhealthy stuff that us fasting type people don't mess with. And I'm going to the fresh food aisle. All the fresh fruit, fresh vegetables. I'm going to go straight to the meat part and grab the chicken that I've been talking about for a few days. Then I'll show you guys the vegetables. Papaya is super popular here. That's mango. Broccoli. Here's the bakery area. I really want to get a French bread baguette, but I'm going to grab the chicken first because that's number one on my list. It's back here. Already roasted, already made. Alright, let's see which one I'm going to get. Wow, that one comes with cola. It's crazy. That's probably duck because it's more expensive. I'm just going to grab one of these. It's about $3. Uh, this one looks a bit more roasted. Let me smell it. Smells good. I'm gonna grab this one. Alright, here's some other fr cooked things. And guys, I'm really good at cooking myself. I just want to get this one because I've been eyeing it for months. The smells are incredible here. It's funny, I met this guy diving uh, a few months ago and he's like a vegan. And we were actually walking around the supermarket and I wanted to go grab something from here. And he was like, oh man, I can't walk through there. I can't walk through there. There's that really fatty meat I really like. I'm going to look at the beef and see if there's any good deals. I only buy beef when it's discounted. Chicken, Australian grain-fed beef. Probably out of my price range. Let's see, it's only 100 So guys, this much beef is the same as this much chicken. And if you don't know why, it's because beef takes a lot more energy to produce it. Like every 10 kilograms of like grain and water produces only one kilogram of beef. Whereas like every two kilograms of food and water produce one kilogram of chicken. So it's just more economically viable. This is not bad. This is like $2, kind of expensive. Probably I'm not going to get any beef unless I see some really good deal. Nah, let's check out the other side. Bangkok bulbs. This is pork. Looks like fancy sausage. And let's check out this side. This is seafood. This looks like pork. Wow, super cheap. It's like a dollar for this big chunk of meat. Uh, I'm probably not gonna get anything. Oh, this is pork skin. I'm gonna get some of this. I love pork skin. It's super fatty, really good for breaking a fast, I would imagine. So I got the chicken and the pork skin. And I'm gonna go grab some vegetables now. And guys, remember to always wear a mask. Okay, wear a mask. And let's look at the vegetables. I really want to make a uh, Japanese pumpkin soup, but I think it's just too carb heavy for me right now. So this big piece of pumpkin is about a dollar. I might just go for it, I'm not sure. But I want to get green vegetables, like uh, cabbage, maybe asparagus if it's not too expensive. Was well, that only 19? I'm gonna get a few heads of cabbage. This is a Chinese cabbage called Bai Tai. This one. Not sure if I need to weigh it or not. I need to figure that out. And what else do I want? Uh, where is the vegetables? Looks like every year. Oh, here. Lots of cool stuff. I'm familiar with most of it. I really like mushrooms, but they're kind of expensive on this island. Here's the mushrooms. 
Mm. It's about a dollar, too pricey. Nah, it's not really in my price range. And again, this is so different from the other local supermarkets here. This one's really upscale and nice. Um, I guess that's okay for now. I'm gonna finish up the video. Alright guys, as of right now, I ended up buying the carrots, uh, onions, Japanese pumpkin, cabbage, uh, pig skin, and that whole roasted chicken. I guess I'm gonna make a soup. It's gonna be super heavy and it's gonna make my weight go up, but it's okay. And I'm gonna get the coconut water, which is super important for water fasting. We've got three varieties here. Mali, Chaba, and UFC. I usually think this one's the best. This one's the cheapest though, but I still like this one. You like this one? It's better. This one's better? Yeah, this one seems like cheap, I think. No, it's better. This one better? Cool, I think so. And actually, uh, coconut water has too much potassium. Like if you're just eating a normal diet, it actually has too much and can mess you up. So if you're fasting, it's super great because we're low on potassium. I think that's everything I need, really. That should be about, let's see, $3, $3, 7 8 9 about $10. Yeah, that should be about 10 about $12. And this is going to be just a big refeed, and I'm going to have some leftover. That's the thing I think that ruined me last time. Remember all the dates I had? Dates are delicious, but I just don't think in the 21st century they're applicable anymore. And the ones I got were such a good price. This is basically $1.50 for like seven dates. I was getting a box of them for much cheaper. Dates are super expensive here, not quite sure why. And that's pretty much it, guys. I, you've already seen everything I've got, and I just got some time as well to put in the pumpkin soup. And I'm just gonna check out now. I would never lie to you. My plan was to do a 72, but I'm just gonna do a 48. I ended up eating some of the quail eggs and I'm getting a coconut right now too. I'm gonna drink the coconut. So this is a 42 hour fast. Hey guys, I wanted to do a three day fast, but I'm probably just gonna end up doing two days. I had some quail eggs already and this is a nice fresh coconut. I'm gonna drink this. So this was a two day fast. That is good. And I'm probably gonna have some cabbage tonight too. So still relatively low carb. And tomorrow I'll make the pumpkin soup or maybe wait two days. Oh man, that is, it's better than the one I buy in the box, of course. And I'm just down at the beach right now. So yeah, I had some quail eggs, uh, just those tiny little bird eggs. I'm gonna have this and I'll, I guess I'll have some cabbage when I go home. So I guess that's still a healthy refeed and just setting me up for success in the future. We'll see. And the benefit of it being a fresh coconut is I've got all this delicious uh, flesh, um, also called the fruit, I believe, the skin. Really good stuff. And this is just from this little cap we cut in so I can drink it. There's actually a lot of fruit on this. You guys can dry it and then it's super delicious. Like just lay it down overnight or look up a recipe how to dry it. It's like nature's jello. It's really good. And this is loaded with potassium, which is what we need when we're fasting. Not sure about sodium. See, this is kind of why I tell people not to go out when you're fasting. Because my friends gave me the eggs and like I'm like, eh, they're healthy. Then I just get this too. Again, still healthy and still good for the refeed. So this was like a 42 hour fast, which isn't terrible. Hopefully it'll help fix my bad refeeding issues. And it's so cool, look, they put like a little holder on the coconut. So it like holds the spoon itself. And there's a decent amount of liquid in here, probably 300 ml. Mm, good stuff. All right, so it's cool. I asked my friend to cut the coconut for me to make it easier to get everything out, and he just did this all in one swell swoop. He just like got it all out like this. So this is how much meat is in it, and there is uh, my friend Joseph. All right, nice. There's still a little bit in there, so I'll eat this slowly. Hey guys, 
I'm feeling fantastic. I did the treadmill yesterday. I got a lot of the sugar out of my body. I slept way too much today, but I feel great. So I'm gonna do a grocery haul. This is what I bought today. I bought a whole roasted chicken, about $3 American. I bought some thyme for the pumpkin soup I'm gonna make. Um, a small handful, about mm, 20 cents. I got two beautiful heads of cabbage. I love cabbage, guys. A um, dollar American. This is great. I can't wait to show you this. I'm not going to eat it today. I'm going to make it probably in two or three days. This is just a Japanese pumpkin, Asian pumpkin. And this was about a dollar. It's pretty big. And I'm going to make pumpkin soup with it. It's going to be fantastic. What else? I got carrots. Pretty normal. About one dollar for four big ones. And that's also for my chicken soup. I got some onions. You always need onions no matter what you're doing. Um, let's see. Uh, 20 cents. And I got what every faster needs, coconut water, UFC brand. It's not like the fighting UFC, it's just a different brand. I'm not, it's Thai. And I got two of those to make sure my potassium does not run low. Now I'm just gonna get the chicken off the bone and show you how to weigh chicken, okay? Super simple and cut. All right guys, I finished uh, stripping down the chicken from all the bones and it's 620 grams. You guys take a look. 620, it was 860 with all the bones. So uh, let's see, it lost about 20% of its weight. And I'm saying right now, this is probably too much and I'm gonna regret it, but I'm gonna eat it all because it's healthy. Hey guys, I've got a whole head of cabbage right here. It's gonna cook down to look a lot smaller. I used a half an onion and three big things of garlic. Um, I'm only gonna eat half the chicken. I know if I eat all of this, I'm gonna regret it and I'm gonna feel bad. So I'm just cooking right now. When everything's done, I'll show you. And I had these quail eggs at the beach today, uh, six or seven quail eggs and a fresh coconut. I'm probably not gonna drink any more coconut water today. I don't really need it. So yeah, I'm gonna knock out half of that plate of chicken and this giant thing of cabbage. And hopefully that's it. We'll see. All right, guys, we're gonna wrap up the video here. I've got a plate of the cabbage and roasted chicken that I got at the supermarket. You can see it's still steaming. It smells pretty good. And just my thoughts. I wanted to go 72 hours, but as you guys know, this was about a 45 hour fast. My friends at the beach had durian, which is like, you know, that spiky fruit that smells kind of weird. Uh, it's pretty expensive and I didn't want to say no. So I ate some durian. Then at the beach, I had that coconut you guys saw previously in the video. And I'm just going to have maybe one head of cabbage and half a chicken. That doesn't sound like too much calories, and it's definitely low carb. And again, about the shirt, I'm not affiliated with Cole at all. He's definitely a cool guy. But I just came here for a short holiday, and I've been stuck here a year. So I've only got like three or four shirts to my name. And I'm just drinking my Icelandic water. <clears throat> Thanks for watching the video, guys. And I feel a lot better than last week. I'm going to keep doing low carb and 24, sorry, 48s and 72s. And that should help me lose a lot of weight. And my Canadian guy, um, you comment on all my stuff. I'm going to get my abs back, I promise. Bye-bye.